Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball Hobby Edition 2 box tiered random team number 2 TRT2 So there you go, we only sold 10 spots and then we comboed the teams all together to make it pretty as even as we possibly can do for a 10 spotter So big thanks to these folks for getting into it there are the comboed tiered teams right there. So we try to get the higher, split up the higher end teams, combine them with mid-range teams, low end teams, so on and so forth. We did our best to do that. All right, let's roll in and randomize each list three and a two five times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we got Ben down to Rob. Three and a two, five times for this. One, two, three, four, and five. Good luck. <clears throat> uh, Wizards down to the Wizards combo spot, down to the Hawks combo spot. All right, so it's actually a little aggressive on the point size there. Ben with the Wizards, Sixers, Blazers, Jazz with the Pelicans, Thunder, Magic, nice. Ryan with the Grizzlies, Nets, Nuggets, Vasilis, Knicks, Spurs, Clippers, Trevor, Lakers, Rockets, Pacers, Ben, Cavs, Pistons, Jazz, Trevor with the Celtics, Timberwolves, Mavs, Heat, Suns, Bucks for Mike Samich. Raul, you have the uh, Bulls, Warriors, Kings combo, and Rob with the Hawks, Hornets, and Raptors. So let's alphabetize this by team. Sort by column B, A through Z. There you go. And I'm going to pause the video just for a few moments and uh, give everybody a few moments to trade. And when we come back, we'll have that two-box break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. There was a trade between Rob and Trevor. So... Trevor divests himself of the Lakers, Rockets, Pacers spot and gets into the Hawks, Hornets, Raptors spot right there. So we'll put a T next to there so we know that's part of a trade. And Rob is now in that Lakers, Rockets, Pacers spot. We'll put a T there for trade confirmed. So now let's print and rip. All right, good luck, everybody. Here's two boxes. Remember, Jason marked these so you know that they're all from the same case. I'm just randomly grabbing two boxes from the back. But they are marked so you know they're from the same case. And let's roll. Two autographs per box and 22 prisms per box on average. So if we get like Silver Zion would be pretty sweet. All right. So here is the final printout, hot off the presses right here. There it is. I don't know why we lost a line right there, but there we go. And good luck. I hope we get some kind of basketball back soon. I'm not really interested in watching more horse anymore, not with some of these potatoes he's rich athletes are using here. Crank up that Wi-Fi connection. Let's get some production quality here. Anyway, we're a little behind schedule, folks, but I think we're running out of things to break on the site anyway. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, boys and girls, and, uh, and check it out. Hi, Jack. I am. Thank you. Just had to recharge the batteries so I could be fresh for this week because I knew that Big Hit Express would be this week and I was feeling a little burnt out, but back on track. That's all it takes, just, a, just an extra day here and there. Ooh, Silver Jaw Morant. 
right out of the gate. Wow. That goes to Ryan Shackleton. That's amazing. New guy mojo, kind of new guy mojo. He joined her, his first break with Jaspies yesterday. And if you were wondering, yes, I'm going to embarrass Ryan here. Yes, his he allegedly his great grandfather is that Shackleton, the explorer, Sam Jones. Oh, you're talking about Ryan. He is not Ryan Shackle, the skateboarder. There's Sam Jones. Uh, Celtics, that'll go to Trevor. That's your uh, two audit, first of two. Great, great, great grandfather, Sir Ernest Shackleton, the Irishman who led a British expedition into the South Pole. You must have missed that day in class. It's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. You're related to King Louis V? Which one? It matters. <laughs> they might be all bad. That's right, Curtis. Yeah, it, uh, those are those are Ryan Shack's ancestors. Well, apparently, the, another expedition much later on went down there and, or more recently, went down there and dug up the boat, found some old whiskey hiding in there, and then some company took advantage of that and now used that whiskey and its notes to create Shackleton whiskey, which is pretty good. Your Zion, base Zion for the Pelicans. That'll be for Jazz. Obi-Wan, what's up? I am. Thank you. There's Buddy Healed to 149. Oh, they d drug up the boats from the Franklin Expedition, too. They teach that stuff in Curtis's schools, Ryan. He is part of the uh, he is part of the empire. Empire? Commonwealth? Are you guys a Commonwealth, Curtis? Another John Moran. This time, base edition for for Ryan and the Grizz. Jabari Parker to 99. Hawks, that'll be for Trevor. Canada is Commonwealth, that's right. There's Chuma Okiki. That's the second auto for the Magic. That's going to go to Jazz with the Magic, the Pelican Thunder Magic combo. Pete Maravich to 75, TJ Warren. Is that right? Well, Sir Ernest, I think, for you, Curtis. Put some respect on his name. Come on. There's Rudy Gay. Casey Okpala to 199. Andre Roberson. Send that Kobe too. Uh, 
All right, and another box. Quick two boxer right there. Already paying off for the Grizz so far with that Morant Silver. I mean, I think Raw, that'll still go for half a zillion dollars. And I think, uh, I think Graded will go for a lot more. So once those grading services start reopening, Ryan, might, it, should, it is worth grading, I think. Curry saying, it's interesting to read how much speculation of cannibalism there are these failed expeditions. Yeah, I would think... I would think that would, would happen, right? Safe to say? Yeah, Kevin Crouch thought that the uh, Morant Silver looked pretty well-centered, so... So yeah, I agree. It did, Andrew, but why did I not upload it? Did not upload it, Andrew Herman. Yes, we did do that break. Come on, Joe. I guess I was so interested in snacking on a little dinner, I just ran away. All right, no, no, no. It's, we just have it's just a two-box break. That's true, yeah. And a, and a live. It seems to be for the Donner Party. Other parties, I'm sure. Curtis wondering how many people have actually ate human flesh. You don't think you can do it? I, I think if once the survival instincts kick in, I think you'd do it. I think you'd do it. There's PJ Washington to 299. Hornets, that'll be for I think that was a trade, right? Yeah. Hawks, Hornets, Raptors, that'll go to Trevor. Isaiah Roby, Red Wave, not number, but that will ship too. AJ Anderson, remind me to stay away from Joe at the end of the world. I mean, you're not curious? There's Quindary Weatherspoon. I'm kidding. Or am I? 10 out of 49 Quindary Weatherspoon Spurs. I'd only do it if I could, if I could, if I could hunt the human. I don't want to just. Well, there's, there was a movie that was like that, wasn't there? Was it like, was it the island of Dr. Moreau or something like that? Or was that about animals? Darius Baisley Silver. Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was a movie where... <laughs> I know it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia had a really funny episode on that. Deer Hunter? It was Jamal Murray to 99. Surviving the game? Or the most dangerous game? Is that what it is? Pairs nicely with the Merlosis. You gotta watch out for Eddie C. He's already he's already thinking pairings, ladies and gentlemen. There's Justin James, Kings. This break got dark really fast. Bulls, Warriors, Kings, Raul Benitez with that one. Oh, well, maybe it was an old short story, something like that. Alright. Oh well, yeah, there you go. Only if I could hunt. The human will I will I then feel worthy enough to eat it? I know. I, I always I always think I think that every day AJ Anderson, someone new is gonna jump into the stream. 
highly recommended by one of his friends or his or her friends and they're going to jump right into a cannibalism conversation and they're going to be like just X right out and there goes that Bill Gates money that we were about to get. Mike Conley for the Jazz. I'm watching him. All right. Yeah, I'm watching him right now. He's in his massive gym. Watching Horace. Uh, Mike Conley, naturally left-handed, but actually good with both hands. So he's tricky. In this horse competition, he's like, he's like all right, uh, bank free throw offhand or something like that. But his both hands are good. Cheater. Nicola Batum to 149. And the last little bit here. This has actually been a pretty solid two-box break, ladies and gentlemen. Luck of the lottery, John Morant. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That John Morant goes to Ryan Shackleton, who was the beneficiary of the silver John Morant. Pretty nice. There you go, Lee. Oh, there you go. Joe P, glad you got your stuff. There's a Zion base. Should be pretty, looks, looks like it's pretty gradable. And the first, like, major thing out of the box, first box, what was the John Morant? That was pretty nice. I don't know. Sorry, I can't really get a good bit of lighting on there, but looks like it could be gradable. The edges are not not my favorite on the edges, top and bottom, but the centering looks pretty pretty decent. And we popped it into the top loader, right? So the surface that's the one grade I could never really. So hard to figure out surface grades, but unless there's obvious scratches on there. But there you go. There you have it. Joe for Jaspies Case Breaks.com, boys and girls. That was two box uh, tiered random team break number two, 2019 2020 Panini Prison Basketball Hobby Edition. We'll have another two in the store. So check that out on Jaspies Case Breaks.com. And I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And we don't eat humans. Bye bye.